After a three-hour delay due to the ill health of defense attorney Stephen Altman, he resumed his closing arguments. He spent much of the time trying to convince jurors that his client, Darun Ravi, was an immature kid who had no malicious or biased intent when he set up a webcam in his Rutgers dorm room on September 19th back in 2010. That webcam caught two intimate encounters with Ravi's gay roommate, freshman Tyler Clementi, and a man identified only as M.B., Altman claims Robbie's goal was not to see something sexual on the webcam, but instead to make sure MB didn't take his iPad. And Altman disputes claims Robbie encouraged others to watch the so-called webcam viewing party. Eighty students in that dorm. We know, we know, at least 32 were spoken to, yet not one of them could tell you they attended a viewing party, they heard of a viewing party, because one never occurred. Clementi discovered the webcam and disabled it. Clementi also saw Robbie's tweets. One message reportedly said, keep the gays away. Prosecutors hope this will help prove their claim that Robbie targeted Clementi because he was gay. He told people in that dorm as soon as he got there that he suspected that his roommate was gay. And I suggest to you, ladies and gentlemen, that that information and that mindset was what drove his escalating and deliberate acts that you heard about in this case from the beginning. Days after the webcam incidents, Clementi killed himself by jumping off the George Washington Bridge. Ravi, who is now 20, is not charged in Clementi's death. And the judge made it clear early on he preferred that Clementi's death not be mentioned during the trial. But a constant reminder are Clementi's parents, who were in attendance today. More than 20 witnesses have been called during the three-week trial. Some testified they never heard Robbie make an anti-gay comment, but during cross-examination, it was also revealed the topic never came up. Altman questioned the credibility of some of the key witnesses for the state, including MB, who he described as a scruffy 30-year-old. Ravi did not take the stand. Ravi faces 15 criminal counts. The charges include bias intimidation, invasion of privacy, and witness tampering. For NJ Today, I'm Desiree Taylor in New Brunswick.